Hey, college football fans, Jordan Reed here once again for another episode of Reading Between the Lines, where I go through some of the things that caught my eye the most throughout the college football's weekend. And I have to start in the SEC with Alabama and Georgia. And the two matchups that everybody had circled on their calendar for this weekend was Georgia and Arkansas, as well as Alabama and Ole Miss. And those two games ended up being a no contest for both of them. What I mean by no contest is that Alabama and Georgia both passed the test with flying colors. Georgia gets the big victory over Arkansas, 37 to zero. They get the shutout and Alabama gets the big win over Ole Miss, 42 to 21. But my biggest takeaway from both of these games is that Alabama and Georgia are the clear two best teams in college football. Both of them are just on a different level, a different stratosphere from everybody else right now. And they are on a collision course in this SEC to face off in the SEC championship game. And I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that we see both of them play each other in a national championship just because they are clearly the two best teams in the country. But I want to transition now to the ACC and Kenny Pickett. This is a quarterback that is playing extremely well right now, and it just doesn't seem like any, anybody's paying attention for whatever reason. Pickett has 14 touchdowns over the last three game stretch right now, which was uh, a record that was previously set by Dan Marino. Dan Marino had 13 back in 1981. Kenny Pickett has passed for 14 touchdowns over their past three games. He's second in the country right now in passing touchdowns with 19, and he's also fourth in total offense and passing yards. So this is a player that really has started to hit his stride, and he came back for his senior season, his sixth year, I should say, and everybody was questioning what was the reason that he came back, but he's really unlocked the next stage of his development, but it just seems like there isn't anybody paying attention to him. So Kenny Pickett is a player that I have a gold star beside right now. I can't wait to go down to the Senior Bowl or the East-West Shrine game, whichever one that he does end up playing in, to watch him play, just to see him throw the ball in person and just to see how much better he has gotten. And he's clearly unlocked the next stage of his development. So Kenny Pickett, more eyes need to be on him, especially with how underwhelming this quarterback class has been overall. But if we're talking about a quarterback that could go anywhere from the fourth, fifth, or even the sixth round, somewhere in that range, he may even go earlier. He's one player that I definitely could see some team falling in love with somewhere on day two or day three. Staying on the quarterback train, and even I really like what has happened with this Cincinnati program quarterback Desmond Ritter. That is my next point. And I really like what he showed against Notre Dame. But it's not just Desmond Ritter. I think this was one of the biggest wins in program history for the Cincinnati Bearcats. Luke Fickle has this program rolling right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This was go this was the biggest win in program history for Cincinnati. They were previously 0-23 versus top 10 teams on the road. And going into a hostile environment in Notre Dame and getting the victory the way that they did. This is what we call a program booster, already being the number seven team in the program, or excuse me, the number seven team in the country, getting the big win over Notre Dame, who's the number nine ranked team in the country. And I really like what they showed in this game. They look like they belong, but also I thought they dominated the game in spurts too. And we kind of saw it last year against Georgia in the Peach Bowl, which was a game they definitely almost came very close to winning, which would have been a huge win for them. But they get their revenge and they end up going into Notre Dame and getting the victory, which is a huge, huge win for the Cincinnati Bearcats, a team we could see even sneak into the college football playoff if they continue to win and take care of business down the stretch of the season. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Draft Network on YouTube and stay tuned for more content throughout the college football season.